Good morning everyone, welcome to this new shaving review. Uh, the product I'd like to uh, showcase today is the cream, the shaving cream Noxima. Uh, it's an Italian shaving cream. It came out uh, in was was put back on the market in 2017. Uh, I got this one from Italian Barber. Italian Barber starts selling those this year in 2018. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh, the razor I will use. I'm gonna use the PA Alpha Ecleptic. It's the it's the Bakelite Bakelite version. Um, it's a slant razor, not that the blade is torqued. Really, the uh, the way the head is made. Uh, there is an angle in it, as you can see, and this is how the blade end up being slant. Blade, the blade in it, wash card, it's going to be second on use, so no problem with that. And the brush I'm going to use today, I'm going to use again my M Red Limited Edition for the French Forum wet, the, the, the French wet shaving forum, Rosage Traditionnel. Okay, that's what we're going to use. What I'm going to go do, I'm going to go wet the face and then we're going to load the brush. Give me a minute. Okay, back. Uh, the Noxima cream. Like I said, it's not the original version. Okay, that's what I'm going to use roughly, an almond size dollop. And what I'm going to do with it, I'm going to put it directly inside the brush. Ugh. Man. <laughs> there we go. There we go. It's inside the brush. Uh, man. What a mess. There we go. Okay, like I said, it's not the original version. Uh, it got discontinued early 2000, I think. Uh, it got discontinued when I really I started paying attention to wet shaving on the internet. Okay, just we're just gonna build better on the face. discontinued um, it had it had its following on this side of the Atlantic although it wasn't sold there it was only sold in Italy uh, if you go on Italian Barber website uh, there's a story about that to me it's more a myth than anything else but if you're interested, okay, feel free to go check their website. Now the cream came out again, like I say, 2017. Uh, uh, after researching it on the internet, the formula has changed also. Now there is cocoa butter in it, which wasn't there before. Like you can see, it's pretty easy to lather. It's pretty thick, pretty creamy. The scent on it, um, that's the Normally, we find we, we find a lot of creams that do contain menthol. This one doesn't have any. Okay, it's uh, there's absolutely no menthol in it, and the scent it's very really close to uh, the bay rum from Colonel Conk. Okay, first pass with the grain. Uh, yeah, scent. A sweet bay rum, very similar to Colonel Conk.
It's a light scent also, it's not very strong. Uh, the Alpha Ecliptic, okay, you like you can see the head, there is a triangular hand and there is a rounded hand, okay, triangular, rounded. To obtain a good shave with it, you have to use the triangular hand and apply the phaser against the skin of your face. The best way to do it is take the triangular hand facing the mirror so you can see what you do. Although it's not necessary. The razor will let you know if you're not at the right angle. If you maintain the triangular face against your against your skin, it's, it's going to be very, very, very smooth. Okay, like you can see the cream, absolutely no problem with that. It's easy to lather. Does not require tons of water. It's pretty slick. Fairly protective. Performance wise, I do prefer it to ProRiso. I find when the scent is way more pleasant. It's kind of warm. We're getting to fall now. Okay, first pass is done. It's it's a nice shave. Okay, it it gets pretty 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 close. Uh, this is a fairly aggressive or fairly efficient razor. Uh, if you do not go with the triangular face against your skin, the razor will let you know right away. You will feel the blade. Okay, it gets uncomfortable fairly quickly. Uh, I'm gonna go. Rinse the face and I'm going to be back, back for pass number two, okay? Give me a sec. Okay, back for second pass. Yeah, like I said, performance, I prefer it over Perezzo. Uh, the slickness to me it is better if there's not enough slickness just add more water to it it just with this razor I really want I, I want my I want my ladder to be a little bit on the creamer creamier side I need all the cushioning and I can get And the, the, the ladder gives a lot of glide. There's absolutely no issues. Okay, second pass. Across the grain. Now the razor, because of because of the shape, because of the shape they had, uh, it's a little bit tricky. It's a little bit tricky to go under your nose. Uh, when you want to do detailing work like this, okay, use the rounded end.
really, really, really efficient. Now, um, I'm gearing up. I'm gearing up the month of October. Uh, I decided to change things a little bit. The month of October, the all the soaps I will use will be fern will be fern sanded soaps. The month of October, where in the fall. Uh, if you go in the woods, you walk, you're going to see the, the ferns are dying. You start getting the, the fern or ferny type scents. We're not going to explore the entire fern world, but there's only five weeks in October, but I think Fern, Ferntober will be fine. As I say, the razor is fairly efficient. After my shave yesterday, this morning, I had to wait a little bit later today because it wasn't, I, w I didn't have much to shave. And even right now, I'm really, really, except for maybe right there and right there, I'm almost at BBS already with two passes, which is fairly rare. I'm gonna go rinse the face and come back for pass number three. Okay, give me a sec. There we go. The brush, okay, this brush, uh, it's a fan, it's a fan type knot. Uh, it's great, great brush. Finest badger, it's really soft. There you go. Okay, third pass against the grain. The razor again, if you look at Excuse me. If you look at the head, there's huge channel, huge ladder channel in there. Uh, it doesn't, okay, the razor doesn't plug up. It doesn't leak ladder everywhere. It has a good capacity to pick up ladder. Now, maybe if I was talking a little less, maybe you could hear uh, there is audio feedback with this razor. It's actually fairly it's actually fairly misleading because you can hear feedback like there's stuff left but it's really really it's a really close shave.
on a side note, the cream. Uh, I don't know if you can notice. The razor was clean before I started. Okay, this cream will, okay, will dirty your razor faster. It's compared to any other, any other uh, cream or soap. It's one of the fast. That's one of the, the fastest to dirty a razor. The Bakelite razor do get dirty faster than metal razors, but. There we go. Done. Uh, that's BBS. That's an easy one. Uh, the second, the second pass across the grain probably could have been enough. Just I really wanted really, really, really close, and I obtained it. What I'm gonna go do? I'm gonna go rinse the face, and I'm gonna be right back for the conclusion. Okay, give me a sec. Okay, we're back for the end. The aftershave I'm going to use today, well, since it's uh, since it's bay rum scented, so I'm going to go with um, Pinot Clubman Virgin Island bay rum. Uh, very clovey, uh, cinnamon clove in there on the bay rum. If you don't like. If you don't like those scents, very sweet, okay. If you don't like the spiciness of it, don't that. Also, it gives an excellent burn, as per I guess all Pinot Club Men product. Now, with this cream and this razor, the burn is less than what it would normally be. Uh, the cream did an excellent job protecting my skin. The only place where really I feel the burn is right there. It's where, when I start shaving, I, I don't get the angle right up at the, the perfect spot. Okay, therefore it does. It does have a little bit of irritation just up there, but for the rest of the face, really, it's absolutely smooth. There's a slight burn, but nothing like it normally does when I use any other razors. The, the razor is excellent, really nice. It's a really nice uh, shave. Plus the cream is actually fairly protective and from yesterday's shave and all the other shaves I have, the post shave feel with it is actually quite surprising. Um, a lot of, a lot of the, um, a lot of the cream like ProRazzo do dry up my face. This one doesn't. Anyway guys, this concludes the shave today. I hope you enjoyed. Again, the cream we've seen today, okay, is the Noxema cream. Uh, the only place where I can find it here on this side of the Atlantic is uh, Italian Barber. You will also find it on Amazon. There's a few places. In Europe, in Italy, it's 3 euros. There in Canada, $10 for 150 milliliters. It's actually a fair amount it's a really nice amount of shaving cream compared to pro Razo or palm olive the razor okay the pa alpha ecliptic the bakelite version slant razor great shave very smooth just make sure you follow or you let the guiding face against your skin to get beautiful shave the brush, M red, okay, uh, fan knot, and finest badger, great, great brush. I just love it. It's wonderful. The loft is pretty. Okay, the loft is very wide, uh, and there is actually a fair amount of backbone in this brush. Great, and to complete the shave, the after shave, Clubman. Virgin Island Bay Rum. If you like clove and cinnamon, it's perfect. If not, well, you may you maybe you went to look somewhere else. With this, I hope you guys appreciate the shave today. Uh, I wish you tons of good shave this week, 
and I hope to see you for the month of October for uh, the little foray we will do in fern standard soaps, the fougere type scent. With this, guys, have a great week, and I hope to see you next week for a new shaving review. Okay, bye bye.